I will welcome everyone to the April 1st meeting of the Committee on City Services. My name is Stan Moulton. I am the chair of the committee and will be presiding today. Uh, Laura, will you call the roll, please? Sure. Councillor Moulton. Here. Councillor Labarge. Here. Councillor Dubbs. Here. And Councillor Rothenberg. It looks like it's not present, but... Uh, I have not heard that she would not be attending, so I expect she'll join us momentarily. Uh, this meeting uh, is being audio and video recorded. And uh, uh, I want to start public comment by uh, having the mayor address the uh, the memo that was sent earlier this afternoon to us uh, explaining that we have had to delay any action on recommendations for the two housing authority appointments because we learned today that the terms were expressed uh, incorrectly in the appointment letter. So uh, the mayor and I confirmed conferred and uh, we determined that the best course of action is uh, to delay uh, our recommendations. And for the benefit of anybody who else who is listening, other officials or the public, I just would like the mayor to explain that and uh, to uh, to lay out the next steps to remedy this. Oh, mayor? Sure. Thank you. Um, well, the, the chair has done a good job of starting off this conversation. Um, you know, so I, I don't know if you're able to see the memo that we sent out. Um, but as it says, I'm sorry that uh, to say that we were informed to just today, actually, um, by executive the executive director of the Northampton Housing Authority, that one of the terms listed on the appointment memo is incorrect. So um, I consulted with Councilor Moulton as the chair, um, and he felt more comfortable, and I certainly agreed that uh, what would make sense is to withdraw these appointments, not have them on the agenda. Um, for today, bring them back to city council and get them referred back out with the correct term amount on term years on it. Um, and the reason that I'm withdrawing it is because, as you know, there is a certain amount of time by which you need to act on an appointment. Since it's looking like there's only going to be one meeting in April, um, we would come against this problem where it, they would just automatically be confirmed. So to get around that, I'm again withdrawing these two appointments. Um, this is the second time we've done this with these. I'm so sorry to them. Um, and we will correct the terms. So one of the, the, the housing authority terms are complicated and they are dictated by mass general law. Um, so one of the terms, the term for Marilyn Richards is actually for a period of five years. It was uh, incorrectly listed as three years in the memo. Um, it had previously been incorrectly listed as that as well, but had not been caught um, until just this morning by uh, uh, Executive Director Leiber. So, um, so we are withdrawing that and we will put both of these forward again. Um, Sydney, my office has already updated the, the memo and it will be on this Thursday's agenda with the correct terms and it will, I assume, be you know, be on the consent agenda. I assume, um, I imagine, will be referred back out to you all. So I am sorry that um, that you won't be taking those those two appointments up today. Um, and yeah, I hope that that covers it. I happy to answer any questions. Yes, thank you, Mayor uh, Laura. Can you admit uh, Councilor Rothenberg, who I see in the waiting room? Sure. Oh, Council of Barge, I see you, but yes, thank I you. recognize you. But I want to thank you and the staff for picking that up because it is critical. You're looking at from three years to five years. And for both of the reappointments, I think it was really a great thing here that that was picked up because otherwise it probably eventually would have been picked up and back in the same problem again. So thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. And you know, I, I thank um I thank of course Director Leiper, but also um Councillor Moulton for uh coming to talk to me and and working it out so that we could do what seemed most appropriate. 
Uh, okay, thank you. So, uh, Councillor Rothberg, we're just discussing the uh, the memo that we received this afternoon uh, about the delay in any action on our part on recommendations for the two housing authority appointment reappointments because of the incorrect terms that were uh, expressed in the appointment memo. So the mayor has explained that. Did you get a chance to read the memo, Councilor Rothenberg? Yes. Yes. Thank okay. You. So do you have any questions about that for the mayor? No. Okay. I think then that we're squared away. We will, uh, the full council will get a new appointment uh, letter on Thursday. And as the mayor said, that will then be referred to us again. So uh, there will be no action today. I know the mayor has to go uh, because she's chairing the school committee in uh, 53 minutes. Uh, but while she's here, do any of the councilors have questions about the two uh, council on aging appointments that we will be taking up today for the mayor? No, no. Okay. All right. Thank you, mayor. Thank you very much. Appreciate I, it. I hope, your, I hope your school committee meeting is quick as quick as this. <laughs> I can guarantee not, but thank bye. you for those okay. good thoughts. All okay. right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so now we, we will proceed to public comment. Laura, there's nobody in the waiting room, correct? No, there's no one. Okay. Then uh, there is no one here for either general or specific public comment about the remaining items on our agenda. We do have uh, minutes from the uh, meeting two weeks ago, the special meeting on March 18th, which Lars distributed earlier today. Did everyone have a chance to review those? Yes, I did. Yes. Council I'll make Roth a motion. Oh, sorry. Yes. Councilor Rothenberg, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Councilor Dubs? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I second it. Okay. Motion made by Councilor Dubs, seconded by Vice Chair LaBarge. Any discussion? Roll call, Laura, please. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Dubs. Yes. And Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Okay, that's approved unanimously. So the remaining uh, items on our agenda uh, are the two reappointments to the Council on Aging that were referred uh, out from City Council on March 7th. Uh, uh, Robert Dion is uh, vice chair of the Council on Aging, has served for six years. Uh, he's uh, been active on other boards uh, in Western Massachusetts, including the Boy Scouts and the uh, Safety Council. Uh, he uh, volunteers in the Bistro at the Senior Center, and the Council on Aging has just voted him to represent it on Highland Valley's board. Uh, is there a motion for a... Uh, Recommendation on on uh, Mr. Dion. Make a motion for. <laughs> we'll second that. Well, uh, Council Labarge was that a positive recommendation? That was a positive recommendation. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. For Robert Dion. Motion to... made by Council Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubs, for a positive recommendation on Robert Dion. Any discussion? I just was wondering if anybody did any kind of follow-up or is familiar with these people at all and could tell me anything about it. Councillors, anybody uh, want to speak to uh, Mr. Dion? I don't, I haven't met him personally, just from reading what I read about that he's um, already the vice chair, correct? And um, Exactly. Yeah, I guess that it just seems like... He's our, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I know. But it seemed. Okay uh, you you all received the uh, email from uh, Director Park at the Senior Center uh, endorsing his reappointment. Oh, yeah. That also, that's yes. Why. Okay. And has anyone heard about any issues with Council on Aging, or does it seem like everything's been going smoothly there? Any? I haven't heard of any issues. I was just yeah, wondering. I haven't, heard, I haven't heard of any issues either. I'm not aware of any. Great, thank you. Further discussion? Laura, roll call, please. Positive recommendation. Councillor the Barge. Yes. Councillor Dobbs. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. And Councillor Moulton. Yes. 
So that is a uh, unanimous positive recommendation for Robert Dion. Uh, the second uh, reappointment is Cynthia Langley, uh, who has also served for six years on the Council on Aging previously, uh, 19 years as uh, Northampton Council on Aging director earlier in her career, followed by 19 years at the uh, AARP National Office in Washington, D.C., for also for 19 years. Is there a motion on uh, Cynthia Langley? I make a positive recommendation for Cynthia Langley to be um, commissioned at the Senior Center. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, motion made by Councilor Labard, seconded by Councilor Dubbs. I will say, as someone who has known Cynthia Langley for decades, uh, that it is unlikely there is anyone in Northampton who is more qualified to serve on the Council on Aging than than she is. And uh, she is uh, imminently qualified, and we're fortunate to have her uh, willing to continue uh, on the Council on Aging. She's currently the chair. Council Labarge. Right. And we have gotten some good report from the director of the Council on Aging from the Senior Center of how excellent she is. Her communication with the staff, with the board, right down the line. Thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call, Laura, please. Councilor Dobbs. Yes. Councilor Rothenberg. Yes. Councilor Moulton. Yes. And Councilor Labarge. Yes. Okay, so that is also uh, approved unanimously for a positive recommendation on Cynthia Langley. Those two reappointments will go to the council for uh, uh, Thursday, April 4th. Thank you. So uh, the only um, the only item under new business that I have is um, to talk about, and we don't have to make uh, specific dates today, but just to talk about scheduling. Uh, we do not have another regular meeting of the uh, of the city services until May sixth. That's five weeks from today. Yeah. There will be uh, there will be no second uh, city council meeting in April. So we may get some referrals in addition to the two housing authority Thursday night. We've also got two uh, referrals awaiting us uh, already uh, that were. Uh, uh, for the uh, Council on Aging and for Transportation and Parking Commission, so we're 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 going to have some work to do later this month. As I think you know, all of you know, we're also trying to set up a special meeting, a joint meeting with uh, Community Resources to hear from the Division of Community Care, and uh, that meeting date is something that both uh, Councilor Clemmer and I are are working on uh, trying to establish that's convenient for for uh, health and human services and the DCC. Now, I I understand uh, we've got also got later in April, we've got school vacation week, which takes some people away. And then I believe, Councillor Rothenberg, that you are unavailable the last week in April. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you. What, so what are those dates? Uh, Beginning on the 23rd. Until um, that, that, until the month. Until the end of the month. Yeah. Did you Did you say okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Nothing fun. We have a medical thing in the family. We have a surgery scheduled that week, so I'll be full time okay. here. Everything okay. else. Okay. Well, that's that's fine. <laughs> I I believe that uh, you know health issues always should take precedent over um, city government. So that. Um, so we may be limited in terms of uh, possible dates. Uh, I guess I'm going to wait now and see what uh, what Councilor Clemmer and I can come up with for a joint meeting of uh, city services and community resources. And then one possibility would be to schedule our meeting, a special meeting of city services, just before that joint meeting. Um, it's crazy. So, yes, Council Labarge. Yes, um, we're looking at two reappointments that were scheduled for today, but had to be has to be rescheduled 
The mayor yes. is sending it in on city council on April 4th. Yes. So there is no other date in April here that we could fit that special meeting for city service. Also, too, keep in mind, for community resource, we have two of our counselors on city service who also are on community resource. Yes. You know, um, so. Yes. Well, there are other dates. Uh, and, and I mean, we it may be, Council of Barge, that we will we'll have to choose our own date for a special meeting of city services apart from the joint meeting. Um, right. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, until we know when that joint meeting is going to be, I'm reluctant to schedule a, you know, a, a meeting just for city services. I'd like to try to work it out so that we have an, an earlier meeting of city services before that joint meeting on the same day to minimize the number of days that, that counselors have to uh, devote to, to meetings. We'll see if that's possible. And I'm also, I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that, uh, you know, I can't go too early because Council Rothenberg generally isn't available until four thirty or five o'clock. So uh, we'll 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 try to work it out. Just to add, the mayor's office is sending um, a department head appointment for the IT director. You guys may already be aware that Luigi Ottiavani will be coming forward at Thursday's meeting. Yeah, so there's yeah, another. Hear about yes. That. Yes. Okay. So, uh, uh, we'll stay <laughs> tuned. Unless anybody has, uh, you know, anybody wants to throw out a date, uh, just stay tuned. Um, Councillor Moulton, you can give, you can afford more flexibility to my schedule in terms of the time of day. That's not a hard uh, limitation. So, just for your reference. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Council Labarge. Yeah, and also Corvalli, I know you. Your family always comes first. We're going through this with my family, and it's your job as a member of the family to be with your family right from the beginning to the end. So I want to wish you very good luck with that. Thank you. Okay, any other new business that uh, anybody wants to bring forward? Uh, then a, uh, a motion to adjourn would be in order. Move to adjourn. I'll second that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Councilor Rothenberg. <laughs> uh, Councillor Rothenberg wrote that's an assent to their journey. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. And Councillor Dobbs. Yes. Okay. Thank you all.